Okay, so you get your tape, and you don't need a lot of tape when you're doing this. Two and a half, maybe three inches, something like that. Um, and on a small puppy's ear, a big one inch piece of tape is probably too much. So I cut it in half, and that actually might be a little bit short. So that's a little bit short. Like anything, you can always cut off extra if you get it too long. Hopper, still. So I cut it in half. So that's all the tape you will need. You get, I guess it's closer to three inches, three and a half inches. Cut in half. This is the tricky part because it's sticky. Good sharp scissors works better. These are not wanting to work. Please keep her head back while I'm cutting this. Um, more than likely, you will need someone to help you hold the puppy until they get better at this. So, stop, William. You see how her ear's popping up like that? That's what we don't want. That's not how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to go down. The fold's supposed to be there. So you have like an L shape, it should lay flat, and then you just fold this part over. Can you see it, Dallas? Yes. Lay your piece of tape there, and then you just gently wrap it around, and you're not pulling tight. I am not doing this tight at all. Hopper, behave. So that it kind of makes a little ponytail. Okay, let loose some. And it will hold that fold in the middle. And when you hold the fold in the middle, it helps to put the fold in the top. And you don't want it too high, and you don't want it too low. And hers is popping right now, but you give it a day or so, and that pop will come out. Stop, popper. And you can still, I can stick my finger through it, and you can still massage on it and make it. And sometimes it may pop up like this, and you just push it back down. It's not a big deal. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. So, turn, William. Nope, not too far. So Dad can still see it. Okay, so this one's popping a little bit again. So you push it down, you fold it in half, and I hold that up there, so you're kind of in the middle here of her ear. Not too high, not too low, and again, I'm just kind of folding this over. You don't wrap it tight, because you do not want to cut off the circulation. Okay. Massage it down. She's got her little ear thingies, and it doesn't hurt at all. This does not hurt them at all. Stop, Hopper. It's just wrapped around there. Of course, she doesn't appreciate it. It's the only second time I've done hers. So, Hopper, stop. Stop. This is the adhesive, adhesive remover. So, when you go to take them off, that tape is very, very, very sticky. That tape stays on really well. So what you do is you just get a cotton ball, soak down your cotton ball. Again, William, put her back up here, we're not done. Have somebody to help you hold her, and you'll just soak, soak the cotton ball. I mean, I'm sorry, soak the tape. Hopper, stop. You take your cotton ball and you just soak all of the tape, like so. And once again, then you go to the other ear and you soak all that. Let it sit for 30 seconds or so and it'll start breaking down that adhesive. And then you can just kind of peel it off and you just pop it right off. Um, it does occasionally pull a few hairs, but if you soak it good, now just be careful you don't get it in their eyes because this stuff is not good for their eyes. Um, but you just soak that down and then just peel it, peel it off and it will come right off. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And normally you do this probably at least through teething. Um, 
once you get through teething, which she hasn't even started yet, you got all the baby teeth yet. Once you get through teething, most of the time their ears are good. But you know, you just do it as long as you have to do it. And this will stay, you can leave it for a week. Last time I left hers for almost two weeks because you can see it. And if you know, you see it's, it's irritating it or it's really dirty or anything like that, then you know, change it out. Um, give her a bath, change it out. Um, but anyway, it's not like when they're up in post. So you can see that pretty well. And that's it.